This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today we are looking at the ADJ. This is the DOTS T-PAR system right here you're looking at. This is one of the cool new fixtures that, that came out here in 2014. And we're, we're pretty excited to uh, be able to talk to you about this a little bit today. This is the Cobb technology, the chip on board technology. They're 30 watt chip on board Cobb lights. Uh, giving you about a 25 degree beam angle on these things. So when you've got the full set, you're getting, you can cover roughly about 100 degrees ballpark, 90 to 100 degrees of full coverage. Because of the Cobb technology and how the T-Power system works, is that you're getting great color blending with that chip on board technology. So you're having, if it's into a yellow, because it's tri LED, but yet it can give you a good yellow and it will give you a consistent yellow across the field, across the dance floor. So your dance floor won't have like a little bit of red here and a little bit more whatever. No, it's basically yellow consistently. Whatever color it is, you have nice even color blending. Very excited about that. I've been very happy with that. Um, so what the system comes with is it comes with your T-bar. It comes with your stand, a bag. It has a foot switch. And where is that? A wireless remote. And of course a bag for the stand itself. We're gonna kind of take this apart a little bit and talk about some of the different aspects of it. But first I wanted to kind of walk through the controls of it. Um, with any of the systems, generally they have, uh, you can run a, a controlling ca a cable from the, the bar itself to a controller. Generally it's a foot controller. Uh, this can be used with DMX. It can go three, five, nine, and 12 DMX channels. Um, you can set it to do any of those. When you get into to, to three and five, there's, there's some limitations with that. Let me uh, turn to the back and we can talk about the back a little bit more. Uh, you can go DMX in and out, you power in and out, and then we have two extra outlets here. Um, but I, we're going to talk about that DMX part first. When you're going DMX in and out, when you're doing three, you're getting RGB control. Basically, you've got your sliders and you can bring the three colors up and that's pretty much what you can do. You go to five, you've got your three color control, plus you've got four, we'll turn this outlet on and off, and five will turn this out that on and off, which is kind of a cool thing because there's times where you, you want to put another, you know, have more control up in the bar. And what they did with the T-PAR system is they've got a couple of a couple of bolts at the top. And you can literally mount lights up on top of that, whether it's a small laser, if it's a pin spot for a mirror ball, if it's some kind of a moving fix, whatever. You can mount a couple on there as long as they work on a basically kind of an on-off type outlet situation, you can control them. By DMX, controlling the the colors, and you can control those two outlets. Now that's kind of neat. Um, the five will allow again three colors, and that when you go to nine, nine is where you can actually have some control of the programs, and you can control that. So if you're going to be using this, and you've got kind of a simple DMX board with the sliders, and you want to do that, you need to have at least the ability to control nine channels easily to really be able to play with this and have some fun, and to turn these lights on and off. Um, you probably can't see it, but you've got your in and out with your DMX, and then right next to it is a five pin XLR connection. That is what connects to our foot switch. And our foot switch gives us the ability to uh, switch the mode going from color to program to uh, kind of a sound chase. Um, I personally, I like my static colors because there's times where if I want to make an announcement, I want to just have static color. I don't want lights flashing. And then of course program. I like to have it just going at a consistent rate, popping through the programs to find one I like that matches, uh, kind of matches up with the song. Sound works well also. And, and yes, I did use that with some upbeat songs, but I use it such so very little that for me, it doesn't matter. Um, so you can go and you can up and down through your programs because there's quite a few neat programs on this. One of which uh, for a smaller room would have all four lights on and it would basically go it would be dim, 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 bright, and it would be dim, dim, bright, dim, dim, bright, dim, dim. So basically it was cycling through, changing colors, but only one would be bright at a time. When I found that program in a small room, I was like, woo -hoo, hallelujah. It worked wonderfully. Um, so you up and down in the programs, and then you have your blackout. For sound, you've got your sensitivity adjustment if you want to do that. I found with this that I actually, where I've had others where I've had, with a foot switch with these types of systems, I put it on the floor. This one I actually wanted it up on a table so I could play with it a little bit more and have that tactile feel when I'm just running it as the controller, the, the foot switch in that. Now, if I want to take it a step farther, but I don't want to go to EMX, that's where this wireless control is really, really quite cool. I would go into the menu here and I can go over to the RF settings and turn this on. Once it's on, this little guy will allow me to go through and I can go sound active, I can go through the programs, I can you know pick a static color, and then it has the on-off capability for these two outlets. So from this little controller, I can literally just have this on my table, click, turn that light on, click, turn that off. Sweet. 
what a fabulous, fabulous tool. And of course, it's not like somewhere I have to be aiming it right at the little, the little, you know, that generally in the front, you know, is where that little, the little line of, yeah, they don't have that. This is a wireless technology that's actually going to work in a real world situation. Very cool, very cool with that. So, um, let's take a look. I'm gonna take this off and set that down. Of course, it comes with a nice, a nice, heavy, well padded road bag. Um, the stand itself, let's take a look at that. The stand is steel. Now, you may not think that's anything unusual, but truthfully, in this world today, when it comes to speaker stands and light trees, yeah, you don't see as much steel on these as you used to. It's fully steel with a couple of little small plastic pieces, but the main components, collars and things, all metal, all steel. This is this is beefy, this is pretty heavy. The stand goes to nine and a half feet tall, uh, it extends, there's pins and there's cotter keys with that. So once you've extended it and you put everything in, it's a very secure, stable stand. Very, very impressed with this. This was a huge improvement over some of the cheaper stands that after a while you end up stripping out a, a, a nut or something because you know, you're always worried and tightening it up. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't have to tighten it up as much because I've got a pin I put through there and I just have to just bring this to snug a little bit so things can't go up. Great stand, very excited about this stand. One more thing I'm pretty excited about with this is the bag. Now, you're probably thinking bag, why would you be excited about a, a, a bag, the bag for the stand? Well, this is one of the areas in which most of the speaker and, and light tree bags I've had over the years have all died. Um, what happens is that a typical one has a zipper down the side, and that zipper is the weak spot. So after you've used it for a while, the zipper starts to rip out, whether it's on the side of the zipper or if it's um, if, if it's something with a zipper or the teeth or whatever, it's that's the weak spot. What ADJ did with this one is they made it a solid tube with an end that opens up. So now, when I'm done, I can take my stand, slide it down into the tube, and zip up the end. Just go around and zip it up. What this allows, allows to happen is that I don't have that weak spot around the side of the bag. The weak, the weak spot in essence is up here, which isn't a real stressed spot. So I can zip it up and put it all together. Shoulder strap and out I go. Very, very nice. I was very happy to see that. That was a great idea with the uh, with the bag. So again, this is the, the DOTS T-PAR system here from ADJ. 30 watt cob lights, 90 degree coverage on that. Very portable, very great for the guys who are doing smaller smaller events where you're going to be able to have something that's set up quick and easy with great color and some flexibility. Yeah, good stuff. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check this out. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News.